distracting thoughts that would press into our mind and let us have a laser-like focus on understanding the message of the gospel of health that you have for us this hour. We are thankful for the presence of the sacred teacher and we ask that he will linger with us longer because we requested it in the almighty name of Jesus. Amen. Many have asked for our address. I mistakenly put my phone number up there. I say a mistake is because I, I really don't try to answer the phone very much. I'll actually confess and tell you that sometimes when the phone rings, I will step outside the front door and my wife will pick up the phone and she'll say, he just stepped out, but um, mayhaps he can get back to you and then I will come back in because I don't like the telephone because the telephone will try to control me. And I'm, I'm trying to get things done, and I recognize you can't run a ministry if people can't talk to you on the phone, but um, if I get enough interruptions in my day, then I, I just become paralyzed. And so it's better for me if you email me than if you telephone me. And even email, sometimes it'll take me a day or two. I used to be the 24-hour man. You would always get a response. My wife is raising the hand that that email is an incorrect address. That is, um, it's um, John underscore Skeet. Is that correct? I always get those two. So the people that left, they don't have my email and I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So it's, um, this email address is incorrect. That is the correct address. John underscore. There's a line in between John and Skeet at yahoo.com. And if you email me, I'll try to get back to you. And we'll see if we can actually get um, some of these materials on DVD. We talked Friday night about this big warfare going on for the marvelous prize of your physical health. The devil wants to pollute your bloodstream, brothers and sisters. And there are people who have no problems polluting your bloodstream for profit. Even though the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 17 that the man that harms the blood of any person will flee to the pit. And it says, let no man stay him. Proverbs 28, 17. After studying this battle that's going on to get control of your body and to damage your health, this morning we began to talk about one of the first rules of, the first principles of healing. We saw in Friday night's meeting that God's system of healing is based upon hygiene. It's based upon quarantine. It's based upon observance of simple, natural law. It also involves simple, natural remedies. And this morning, we began to study one of those natural laws um, in the law of proper diet, nutrition. Actually, we should have a study on exercise, another subject that is a very important subject. Tomorrow, we'll try to touch on it. But exercise is very, very important. Perhaps I always tell people the first habit you should change is not diet. It is a walking program. Because Satan's strongest hold upon man is appetite. And rather than start with the strongest battle, start with walking. All of us who are not in wheelchairs, we walk every day. We can walk. The question is, can we discipline our will to walk? And being a Christian is about training your will. And so in our next two meetings, we're going to take a turn and we're going to start talking about the mind and trying to understand how it is that we can change our behavior, how it is that we can 
right things that we want to do, but we can't seem to right the ship. And God gives you some practical suggestions. So the title of our first part of the talk is Right Thinking, How Our Mental Habits Influence the Mind. Very familiar text again, Romans 12, 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed, how? By the renewing, the Greek word for renewing there means to renovate, to actually to rebuild the mind. The mind becomes broken down and crippled, and the Bible says that we can be transformed if the mind is rebuilt. Psalms 139 says, that I will praise thee for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works. Perhaps the most marvelous part of the whole body is the brain. If you were to go on Google Images to look up neurons, you will find hundreds of thousands of paintings. It's like the artists have become obsessed with these strange looking cells that look like they're from a spaceship or something that have a very unusual um, uh, um, shape and all of these arms and tendrils and the artists have depicted them because they're so complex. And we'll talk about those neurons in a moment because that's where the battle is taking place. We talked about in our first two meetings how each of us has a trifold nature that we have body, mind, and spirit and how these are all interwoven so closely together that you can't separate them out. The false gospel of today talks just about spiritual things and they talk about having a new heart and being changed, but they ignore physical health. They ignore mental and emotional aspects. And that's like saying that your spirit is like a, some kind of a ghost you could pull out of your body and put it in a jar somewhere. It's like God can save your spirit. No, God saves people and people are an integrated unit. And if the gospel has any impact, it's going to have to impact all of you, not just your spirit, but also your mind and your character. Spiritually, the whole purpose of the plan of redemption is to give you the character of God. It's the only thing we're going to take from this world back into heaven. In the book, The Ministry of Healing, and by the way, there's five published books um, on health by the servant of the Lord. There's how many? Five published books. Medical Ministry, Councils on Diet and Foods, Councils on Health, Temperance, and the book Ministry of Healing. The book Ministry of Healing is the only book that Servant of the Lord wrote from cover to cover. The other four books are all compilations. Also, if you're interested in the subject, you'll find that there are more pages probably unpublished on health than they are published. And these pages should be made available. You can get them on the CD-ROM, but because they're not in her published works, people don't read those books. But Ministry of Healing is a powerful book. And on page 130 it says, the body is the, what's the next word? Only medium through which the mind and the soul are developed for the upbuilding of character. What is the only medium? The body. Hence it is, that the adversary of souls directs his temptations to the enfeebling and degrading of the physical powers. His success here means the surrender to evil of the whole being. I'm going to underscore that again. If he can degrade your physical powers, he will have complete control of you, of your entire life. And the whole purpose is for the mind, the character of God, to be developed in the mind. A statement that goes well with that Ministry of Healing 130 is Education, page 209, where it says, the, what's the next two words? Read it for me. The brain nerves that connect with the whole system are the medium through which heaven communicates with man and affects the inmost life. This statement says that God is not speaking to your hand. He is speaking to the nerves in your brain. That's how he's communicating with you. We're going to look at some scientific evidence.